It's weird, but the most depressing part of my job are these occasional good news segments that I do. Because once in a while, the stories for the week line up such that I can pair together a couple of positive steps forward in the fight for gender equality. But they only seem that way because I'm looking at them through the jaded lenses of a person who spends every week combing through stories about misogyny. And as soon as I try to look at them through the eyes of a normal human, I realize that women now allowed to menstruate indoors in such and such a country isn't actually good news. So much as a slight void in the sum total of bad news. But we're going to push forward regardless, and we're going to start in India. We've talked a lot on this segment about triple talaq, which is the magic spell Muslim men can mutter if they want to be divorced but don't want to give their spouses or children any money. And just in case you're not familiar, I'm not exaggerating in the slightest. You just say talak, 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 and the candy man appears to give you an instant, no strings attached divorce. And while most countries have gotten around to banning the practice, it took India a long fucking time. Now, technically, the practice ended in India a couple of years ago when their Supreme Court declared the practice unconstitutional. Turns out the India Supreme Court is super progressive when it comes to the privileges of minority faiths. But just getting a judgment isn't enough, as Susan Collins is learning the hard way. Supreme Courts wax and wane. So to cement this gain, the Muslim women of India needed more. Well, they got it last week when lawmakers in that country finally got around to passing a law. And it was a good one, as it turns out. Not only does it ban the practice of triple talaq, but it actually criminalizes it. So not only does it not count for any legal purposes, but a guy can go to prison for three years just for pretending that it does now. And that's great, because my understanding is that prison marriages are much harder to dissolve. That's right, a rape joke. And I'm not sorry. Anyway, I know it's hard to believe, but our next good news story comes out of Saudi Arabia, where it's finally legal for women to stop being in Saudi Arabia. And as basic a right as this is, you can kind of see why the Saudis weren't coming off of it easily. This is another story we've been following for a while. In Saudi Arabia, women can't get passports or travel internationally without a male escort. Well, now they're allowed to do that. They can also, for the first time in the nation's history, register a marriage, divorce, birth of a child, or get access to family documents. And yes, these are baby steps in the grand goal of equality, but at least now they're allowed to take those baby steps without asking a man for a hall pass. And on that note, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.